Dude, what's up with the toilet paper crisis? I personally think TP is kind of gross. My house in the Philippines actually has one of those hose bidets, which is way better. But anyways, man, I hope you're doing safe. I hope, I hope you're doing safe. I hope you're safe and you're doing well. I know a lot of people are out of work right now. And even though I'm here in North Carolina at our beach house, you can see the beach behind us, Things are tough right now, man. Our business is live boot camps and live workshops, and we've had to postpone all of them, which is why we have huge discounts right now. So if you're interested, take advantage of it. So then how can you live a normal life when it seems like your entire life has been put on hold? I'm pretty lucky. At least I have a beach cruiser and I can get out of my house, but I know some of you guys can't even leave your house. So then if you're stuck at home, what the hell should you do this whole time? I mean, should you just sit around and watch Netflix and just ride, no pun intention, but ride the situation out? Did you know that Isaac Newton was in his early 20s when the Great Plague of London hit? And he was currently at Cambridge University at the time, and they sent him and all the students home as a form of social distancing or quarantine. Basically like the same situation that we're in right now. But the year or so that he spent in isolation away from his studies were, a lot of people would say, his best years ever. It's where he really made some of his most influential discoveries. See, having time to think and experiment on his own was absolutely paramount to his success. Oh man, we were attacked by bugs. I didn't know there were so many bugs in North Carolina. Sometimes I guess it is a better idea to stay indoors where you're safe. But anyways, in this video, I wanna give you five things that you definitely should be doing while you're on lockdown that can eliminate your stress, make you a lot more happier, build self-confidence, and even help you build rock solid inner game. And the last tip that I'm gonna give you I'm almost certain that you've never heard of and it can completely transform your entire life in the next 24 hours. I know those are big claims, but just watch the video, man. I know a lot of you are stressed out right now and rightly so. I was really stressed out about a week and a half ago when we were stuck in Manila during the lockdown and we had to make a choice, leave our dog, which is like our baby, leave our dog behind and come to the US or just ride it out in Manila. And at the time, things weren't that bad there. Things have gotten a lot worse since as far as how strict they are with the lockdown. And so we're planning on staying there, no big deal. We have a nice place there and it was about three hours before our flight, which we were just gonna miss, that we decided, hmm, what should we do? Maybe we should go back to the US and spend the lockdown with the family and leave our dog, especially because there was no Wi-Fi since the lockdown started. I don't know if we're brave or crazy to be flying right now, but we're in Manila and we're taking literally the last flight back to the US. And that was a really stressful and hard decision to make in the, the voyage coming to the US. It was about 28 hours, something like that. We had a layover in Turkey, which of course we were afraid. It was like the last country in Europe that is allowed to go to the US. So we were afraid, what if that decision changes in the middle of our voyage? So it was, you know, it was really hard, really stressful, but now we're here and this is a much better place to spend quarantine. And the point is that you might be in a tough situation. It might be really stressful. It might be really hard. This might be one of the trying and toughest times of your life, but it is gonna get better. I promise you. As cheesy as it sounds, there is a rainbow at the other side of this storm. And I want you to come out of this the best total 10 version of yourself. So let's get to it. By the way, man, before you get back to the video, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed. What are you doing with your life? Hit that subscribe button, click that bell notification icon, follow the beautiful Jen Mihadas on Instagram. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and send me a DM. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the video. Starting off with number five is increase oxygen flow. Now, I know we're in a very stressful time right now. 
And Dr. Bruce Rabin says that an increase of oxygen flow to the brain reduces stress and calms down the regions of your brain that get activated by stress. And stress experts pretty much all agree that the best way to increase oxygen flow is, of course, by exercise. And they suggest the best home exercises are jumping jacks and jump rope or just anything that gets your heart pumping really fast and elevates your breathing. So I'll put a link down below in the description of my favorite at-home exercise routine. Definitely check it out, man, and start getting your heart rate up every single day and get that oxygen flowing. Number four is be like the Buddha. It's the guys that are present and grounded who are the guys that we think are cool. Not the nervous, awkward, you know, guys fidgeting and overanalyzing everything. And to be grounded and to be present, all you gotta do is start meditating every single day. I used to always be so nervous when it came to approaching beautiful women. I'd be so stuck in my head, worrying about what do I say? What if she rejects me? What if the people around listen and they're judging me or they all laugh at me? I think part of it was because I studied computer science back in college and having that engineer mind where I'm always analyzing things led to me always analyzing social situations as well. It wasn't even just women. It was, it was even just guys too. When I was in groups of guys, I would always be analyzing like, what are they thinking about me or what should I say to be cool? And as a result, I wasn't very cool. And I think a lot of you engineer guys can relate. Now you probably hear about meditation everywhere nowadays, but what the hell is the point? Well, super successful people like Steve Jobs, for example, claim it's the key to their success because stress reduction is one of the most common reasons that people meditate. And of course, less stress translate to less anxiety. It also promotes emotional health, enhances self-awareness, lengthens attention span. And for me personally, I feel like I have way more clarity just after a short meditation session, 10 or 20 minutes. I feel refreshed, I feel like I have way more energy, and it's definitely helped me become a lot more calm and centered around beautiful women, or really any tense situation. I feel like I can handle almost anything that life throws at me. I personally prefer guided meditations using the Headspace app, so feel free to check that out in the App Store. All right, let's get to number three, which is keep practicing your communication skills. You definitely don't want to go two or three months or however the situation lasts without human contact, without communicating with others. If you have a roommate, that's great. Definitely practice with him or her. But if not, if you're in total isolation or even if you do have family or friends to talk with, talking to strangers is a little bit different, of course. So I recommend two things for you. Number one is online dating. You can meet women online and you can hop on a Skype call or FaceTime just like this, interact with her. It's really the next best thing. Of course, you can't practice touching or moving from place to place, but you can practice most other aspects of a date. Now, if you don't have a lot of experience meeting women online, I created an entire video of how to meet women online especially during the coronavirus crisis. So check that out. I'll put a link to it down in the description. Your second option is to role play with models. We just released a brand new course called How to Connect with Women where we bring in models for you to role play with to practice different scenarios. They might throw objections at you. You gotta handle those and really just help you connect on a deep emotional and even sexual level. And you'll have trainers just like me there with you, giving you feedback, helping to facilitate everything. So definitely check that out as well. I'll put a link to all the details down in the description. And numero dos is grow like a giant. There are three ways to grow like a giant. Number one is learning a new skill, which is really easy with YouTube nowadays. I'm taking up painting and I consider myself quite the expert. So take a second right now and think of what are some skills that maybe you've always been interested in that you never actually took the first step to learn. Now, things like dancing might be a little hard while you're in quarantine. Although I did see a video recently of somebody doing salsa dancing with himself in the mirror. It's pretty cool. But maybe there's a language you've always wanted to learn or an instrument you wanted to learn how to play. 
Take a second right now and just write down three ideas, three skills that you wish you had. Number two is reading personal development books. I've been doing this for a long time and I definitely contribute all the personal development books that I've read to a lot of my success. Because this is a way that you can have mentors who are the best in their field, millionaires, billionaires. It's a way that you can get into the mind of any expert that you want and learn about yourself as well as really develop yourself. So I'll put a link to five of my favorite personal development books down in the description. So check that out. And finally, you got writing. I want you to take 10 minutes every single day to sit down with your thoughts and just journal. You can do a gratitude journal and just write things that you're grateful for. They can be people in your life. They can be things that you've accomplished. They can be personality traits that you have. They can even be simple things like I'm just grateful to be alive. I'm grateful that I have water to drink and food to put in my body. And especially if you're kind of a negative person, if you do this for 15 days, I guarantee you, your friends won't recognize your personality because you'll become the type of person that always looks at the positive life and truly appreciates everything that he has. And then finally, if you don't have a job right now, I want you to spend at least 10 minutes every day and just writing down ideas. These should be money-making ideas. These should be business ideas. These can be app ideas. Write down everything that comes to your mind. And I don't want you to write it down as if you're coming from your own experience. Because chances are you have some limiting beliefs, things that are holding you back. You might write something and be like, no, 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 I could never do that. So I want you to come from the frame and the mindset that you're somebody highly successful. Put yourself, for example, in Jeff Bezos' shoes. What would Jeff Bezos do if he lost everything, he didn't have any resources anymore, all he has is his mind? Would he be able to generate, let's say, $10,000 in one month? Probably. If so, what are some ideas? Put yourself in his shoes and just start writing. You might be surprised all the amazing and even million dollar ideas that you come up with. I'm serious, man, do this exercise. And this leads me into number one, which is do your very own vision quest. Back in 2012, I took a men's leadership course, nine days, and two days out of it, we did a vision quest type exercise where we were each alone in our own personal tent in the woods with no food, no distractions, no cell phone, no electronics, no books even, for 48 hours. And we had one task, to write down our five-year, 10-year, and 20-year vision for our lives. And this was one of the most transformative moments of my life, just being alone with my thoughts for that long, just meditating, writing, no distractions, but just being one with nature. It was therapeutic and transformative. I came up with things that I never even thought that I wanted for my life. That's when I decided I wanted to travel. And I made a goal of visiting 100 countries before I die. I'm at 79 right now, 21 more to go. I also did this exercise again a few years ago when I was in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I did it on the beach. I wasn't 24 hours on the beach, but I spent 24 hours, I just disconnected everything, and I spent a lot of time on the beach just meditating, writing, just, you know, being alone with your thoughts. If you've never done that, if you've never been alone with your thoughts, this is what I want you to do. Spend 24 hours. It's great if you can do it at the beach or somewhere in nature, if you can go camping, that'd be great. If you're stuck at home, then just disconnect your life. No cell phone, no computer, no TV, no books even, no distractions. All you do is meditate, and write, write your five, 10, and 20 year vision for your life. Just any thoughts that come out, just write everything. Some are gonna be ridiculous, it doesn't matter. It's kinda like you're just channeling this energy, this superpower, God, if you will. And you're just writing, like letting, like connecting yourself to the higher powers, and you're just writing, 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 meditating, and just being alone with your thoughts. If you have roommates or you're living with your family, then just tell them that you need some time to be alone in your room. Hopefully they don't think you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. Just tell them you need like six hours to be alone in your room to do this journaling exercise. And then let me know what happens. What do you come up with? What kind of inspirations, business ideas, epiphanies do you have? And if you do this properly and you actually do it the right way with no distractions, 
it can and probably will change your life. Look, man, if you do these five things on a regular basis, daily basis, then you're gonna have such a huge advantage over all these other guys who are wasting their time and they're worrying, they're living in fear. You're gonna be getting shit done. So dedicate yourself right now to doing these things and schedule your 24 hour vision quest. When are you gonna do it? Where are you gonna do it? And just commit. I look, man, I'm really excited because we have some brand new programs to help you out while you're on lockdown. They're designed to help you with your inner game and become more confident and, and set you up to succeed while you're you know, in isolation and you can't interact with anybody, as well as improve your communication skills. Not only that, but help you connect with women on a deep emotional level. Role playing with live, gorgeous models so that when this is all over, you can hit the ground running and meet beautiful women, connect with them, and take things a lot further. To get more information, check the link down in the description. And I'll also put a link at the end of this video to a free breakthrough session where you can hop on the phone and we'll figure out how you can maximize your time, what program out of all of our options, we do have a lot of options, which program is best for you and we'll custom tailor it to your situation. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel, click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts about this video and other things that you think that would really help you and help others during this crazy time. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man, coming at you from North Carolina with the beautiful Jen Mihadas. Hi. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.